Shalom brothers and sisters. This is Brother Steve coming back with another video. Uh, brothers and sisters, you may not be able to see me that well. That's fine. Um, just want to just want to talk to you for a second. Just want to talk to y'all for a second. I hope you brothers and sisters and had an opportunity and a chance to see my previous video today. Well, brothers and sisters, I'm coming back with another video. And I, as I was sitting here, I was uh, in deep thought. And uh, reflecting on a few things. And what hit me is emergency crisis. An emergency of crisis. Now you all know that Brother Steve likes to communicate, teach, motivate, and edify. Brothers and sisters, You already know that our walk is by faith and not by sight. And you already know that walking by faith at times presents its challenges. And I would say that collectively within the body of Christ, right now, we're all experiencing some level of crisis. So I want to talk to you all about that today. So I've titled this video In a Time of a Crisis. See, so brothers and sisters, many of us have, have had many crises and many of us continue to endure a crisis. See, the crisis in itself comes in many different forms. And in a level of crisis, it's at that place, brothers and sisters, we're tested. We are tested. See, in a place of a crisis, brothers and sisters, the spiritual tax, it comes, some greater than others. See, we are alive and we're breathing. We have all of our sensual senses. We see, we hear, we smell, we breathe. So with our senses and being alive, which is a good thing, we know that in this reality in our life, along the path, the challenges of crises will present itself. My question for you brothers and sisters is, is this, what are you doing in your time of crisis? Let me repeat that for you again. What are you doing in your time of crisis. How are you handling it? Do you complain? Do you 
get angry? Do you ball up? Do you start dumping on people? See, brothers and sisters, it came upon me, the spirit, to speak about the body of Christ in a time of crisis. See, brothers and sisters, in a time of crisis, there's an experience and waning of faith. See, brothers and sisters, I can't preach or teach this lesson, this sermon, and not talk about the individual experiences of a crisis, the waning of faith, the uncertainty of doubt. See, oftentimes, brothers and sisters, we forget about what the Most High has done. We forget about the times where where we was faced with a crisis, a challenge, an extenuating difficult circumstance. And we know we had no idea how the Most High was going to work it out. See, a crisis once again, brothers and sisters, it could come from within. Or it could come from the world. A lot of our battles right now, brothers and sisters, are internal spiritual battles of the mind. Brothers and sisters, it's a crisis of the mind. See, many of you right now are experiencing a crisis of the mind. Based upon what you see. And what happens brothers and sisters in a crisis. It leaves you in a state of incapacitation. See the crisis, the problem, the challenge. It incapacitates you. It brings you to your knees. It makes your your, your, your your knees feeble, weak. Because you get to a place of vulnerability and weakness. See, the walk of a believer in this life will present crises, many crises. See, brothers and sisters, the presentation of a crisis it causes the waning of one's faith. And if not handled properly, one wrong decision could set one back. It could set you back. So my question to you once again, brothers and sisters, what are you doing in your time of crisis? Brothers and sisters, I want to read something to you. I want to read something to you. And if you have your Bibles, you can follow me. And if you don't, you can just listen. I want to talk about the crisis of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Christ Jesus. Now, this is a very well-known event within the body of Christ in scripture and study. But time to time, brothers and sisters, we have to be reminded of the crisis from the Christ. 
See, it was our Lord and Savior who was tested. So he bore the iniquity and transgressions of transgressors. So he took the sins of the whole world. His spirit was sent to this world. To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. To the Gentile nations. To solidify the relationship. Back to the most high. The father. In a time of crisis. And had not our Lord and Savior made the ultimate sacrifice. We all would be doomed. See, there is no victory. There ain't no breakthroughs without a crisis. Many crises. Brothers and sisters, I want to read something to you. So if you like, you can go to the book of Matthew. Chapter four. And follow me. Once again, brothers and sisters. This is Matthew chapter four. Listen. And it states. Then was Yeshua Christ Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness. To be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward a hungry. He was hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. See, brothers and sisters, that was the first crisis. Our Lord and Savior was in the wilderness 40 days, 40 nights, fasting, hungry. See, we know what it's like to have hunger. Could you imagine 40 days, 40 nights? No food. No edible substance or water. Praying and connecting to the most high. Could you imagine the energy that was expended? Christ expended energy. Spiritual energy connecting to the father. 40 days, 40 nights. Christ was in a crisis. See, some of you are experiencing right now a crisis of the heart. The loss of a relationship, the loss of a marriage, the loss of a job. You are experiencing crisis. What are you doing in your time of crisis? Let me continue, brothers and sisters. Verse four. But he answered and said, now this is Christ. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word. That proceedeth out of the mouth of the most high. In that crisis, our Lord and Savior Christ had, he had the gumption. He had to have internal gumption and, and desire and, and drive to speak words 
to the tempter. Bread. Hunger. Crisis. Verse 5. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple. Verse 6. And saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, Cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Brothers and sisters, the second crisis, the second crisis that our Lord and Savior Yeshua Christ endured. And again, he had the gumption. See, the enemy attacked. He was attacking him and testing his spiritual fortitude. He was trying to get Christ to utilize his supernatural power by tempting the Most High to cast him off a cliff. Crisis. Crisis. Verse 7, and Yeshua, Christ Jesus, said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So Christ responded, No matter what you say, Satan, nothing that you say can initiate me to go against the Father. Remember, Christ is hungry. Now he's being tested on his spiritual fortitude to utilize his power for wickedness by going against the Most High and utilizing the supernatural power that he has against the Father. Through a challenge from Satan. A crisis. Verse 8. Again. The devil taketh him up into the, an exceedingly high mountain. And showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And the glory of them. And saith unto him. All these things. Will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me? Brothers and sisters, the third crisis, you have Satan trying to deceive the Son of the Most High with the kingdoms of this world, the riches, the materialistic things, by offering him a fake power, a fake glory. Crisis. Our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Christ Jesus, was in a crisis. What is being offered to you, brothers and sisters, in your time of a crisis? What opportunities are coming your way that are not within the will of the Most High in your time of crisis? The easy way out. The pain. The struggle. 
a crisis. Mm. A crisis. Verse 10. Then saith Yeshua Christ Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Shalt thou serve. Brothers and sisters, this is meat for you. This is the word. Thou shalt not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out the mouth of the most high in your time of crisis. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. So once again, brothers and sisters, in your time of a crisis, you will be tested. Fear not. Remember, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. In your time, of a crisis. This is a time you got to bite the bullet. Endure. Strive. You must be fortified with the promises. In your crisis. Your crisis. There is hope. There is victory. I know some of y'all don't see it in, in how you want to see it. Hold on to your faith in your time of crisis. All glory and praise to the Most High. Hallelujah to Him. Hallelujah to your higher. Hallelujah. All glory and praise to our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Christ Jesus. Hold on to your faith, saints. Forget not the times that the Most High held you up in a time of crisis. See, sometimes we have to go back and remember the times. You got to remember the times of the crises. See, that strengthens your faith. It builds your faith. Every time the enemy comes at you with a crisis and you're challenged and you're broken down. And, and Brothers and sisters, hold on to your faith. The Most High promised to never leave you nor forsake you in a time of a crisis. The Most High God is good. Stay the course. Continue to endure. Speak boldly. Present your petitions to the Most High. Speak life upon your life. No matter the crisis. All right. Love y'all family. May them Spirit of peace go ahead of every single one of you. Love y'all. This is Brother Steve. Shalom. And I'm out. Y'all stay up. Have a good night. Peace.